The Fibonacci sequence, a famous mathematical series of numbers, has long been thought of as the basis of several efficient and stunning patterns we see in nature. Be it the vast swirl of a hurricane, or the intricate spirals of the DNA double helix, or the distinctive spirals in succulent houseplants, pine cones or pineapples, they are all governed by the Fibonacci sequence as are over 90% of the spirals seen in nature. But now, researchers have found fossilized leaf arrangements that differ from the most modern plants, overturning the long-held theory regarding the origins of a famous mathematical pattern found in nature. In this episode, I'll tell you all about Fibonacci sequence and spirals, its relevance in nature, and why the latest research changes notions about this mathematical pattern. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. Named after the Italian mathematician Leonardo Fibonacci, the Fibonacci sequence is simply a series of numbers in which each number is the sum of the two preceding ones. So for example, the sequence 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34 and so on would be a Fibonacci sequence. Many scholars have pointed out that such sequences were in use in ancient Indian Sanskrit poetry but was introduced to the Western world by Fibonacci. Now, the spiral created by drawing a series of squares with the side lengths corresponding to the Fibonacci's numbers and connecting them with arcs is called a Fibonacci spiral. The significance of the Fibonacci spiral in nature can be observed in various phenomena and structures including nautilus shells, sunflower seed arrangements and pine cones. Many flowers exhibit a specific number of petals that corresponds to a Fibonacci number. For example, lilies often have 3 petals, buttercups have 5 and daisies have 34 or 55 petals. The branching pattern of trees and the arrangement of leaves also follow a Fibonacci sequence. As a tree grows, its branches tend to bifurcate in a way that maximizes access to sunlight. The presence of the Fibonacci spiral in nature is believed to be related to efficient growth and optimal resource utilization. The sequence allows for an effective packing of structures, optimal exposure to sunlight and efficient distribution of nutrients. While not every natural phenomenon exhibits a perfect Fibonacci spiral, the underlying principles of growth and pattern formation inspired by the Fibonacci sequence can be observed in various aspects of the natural world. Although Fibonacci himself did not explicitly discuss its connection to natural phenomena, his sequence gained recognition and became widely known. It was in the 19th and 20th centuries that scientists and mathematicians began to explore the presence of Fibonacci patterns in nature. However, the extent to which the Fibonacci sequence governs natural structures and processes is not yet fully understood and is an ongoing area of research. In a study published in the journal Science, researchers found that the arrangement of leaves into distinctive spirals that are common in nature today were not common in the most ancient land plants that first populated the Earth's surface. Instead, the ancient plants were found to have another type of spiral. This negates a long-held theory about the evolution of plant leaf spirals, indicating that they evolved down two separate evolutionary paths. Why Fibonacci spirals, also known as nature's secret code, are so common in plants has perplexed scientists for centuries, but their evolutionary origin has been largely overlooked. Based on their widespread distribution, it has long been assumed that Fibonacci spirals were an ancient feature that evolved in the earliest land plants and became highly conserved in plants. However, research by the team led by the University of Edinburgh has overthrown this theory with the discovery of the non-Fibonacci spirals in 407 million year old plant fossil. 
Using digital reconstruction techniques, the researchers produced the first 3D models of leafy shoots in the fossil club moss known as Asterozylon mackie, a member of the earliest group of leafy plants. This plant is an extinct species that lived during the Devonian period, approximately 390 million years ago. It is known from well-preserved fossils found in Scotland and represents one of the earliest known land plants. This plant was a member of a group called the Rhinophytes, which were among the first plants to colonize terrestrial habitats. It had a simple structure and grew to a height of about 10 centimeters. The plant consisted of an underground rhizome, which is a horizontal stem, from which aerial shoots emerged. The shoots were slender and branched dichotomously multiple times, forming a feathery appearance. The plant lacked true leaves and roots, but had structures called inations, which were small protrusions that likely functioned in photosynthesis. The stems of the plant were surrounded by a thick cuticle, suggesting that it adapted to life on land and evolved to protect itself from desiccation. The plant is significant because it provides valuable insights into the early evolution of land plants. Its fossils, along with those of other rhinophytes, have helped scientists understand the transition of plants from an aquatic environment to life on land. These early plants played a crucial role in shaping Earth's ecosystems and paving the way for the diverse flora that we see today. The exceptionally preserved fossil by the team from University of Edinburgh was found in the famous fossil site, the Rhyme Chert, a Scottish sedimentary deposit near the Aberdeenshire village of Rhyme. The site contains evidence of some of the planet's earliest ecosystems when land plants first evolved and gradually started to cover the Earth's rocky surface, making it habitable. The findings reveal that the leaves and reproductive structures of Asterozylon mackie were most commonly arranged in non-Fibonacci spirals that are rare in plants today. The team created a 3D model of the plant, which has been extinct for over 400 million years by working with the digital artist Matt Humpage using digital rendering and 3D printing. The scientists say that their 3D printed model of the 407 million year old plant fossil give new insight on the evolution of Fibonacci spirals in plants. Using these reconstructions, the team was able to track individual spirals of leaves around the stems of the plant. This transforms scientists' understanding of Fibonacci spirals in land plants. It indicates that non-Fibonacci spirals were common in ancient club mosses and that the evolution of leaf spirals diverged into two separate paths. The leaves of ancient club mosses had an entirely different evolutionary history compared to the other major groups of plants we see today, such as ferns, conifers and flowering plants. Studying early land plants provide crucial information about the evolutionary history and development of ecosystems on land. By studying these ancient plants, scientists can gain insights into the adaptations and innovations that allowed plants to colonize land and establish diverse ecosystems. Fossils of such ancient plants can also provide valuable information about the past climates and environmental conditions. By analyzing growth patterns, isotopic compositions, and other characteristics of these plants, researchers can reconstruct ancient environments, including temperature, precipitation, and atmospheric composition. This is Mohana Basu, Assistant Editor at The Print. If you like our work, do follow us on all social media platforms to stay updated.